Welcome to e -Know How. In this video, we will look at a tri-state output gate or a what we call a high Z gate. So let's look at uh, what it is first. So in digital electronics, usually what happens is you have, say, a gate, for example, an inverter driving a net. So we will call this net1. And then usually the net1 would go to a few more places say it went to a one NOR gate and an inverter and it went to another place to an AND gate so this net one could go to many places but usually it goes to only the inputs of other gates so there is an input of the NOR, input of the inverter, input of the AND and here it's the output of this inverter <clears throat> so we have no problem here because this uh, inverter is driving the net and it's the sole owner of driving the net. But some places where there are digital output buses or data buses, for example, in some systems what happens is two uh, different devices can be driving the same bus. So for example, you got, say, a device 1 and then you got device 2 and then both of them drive the same 8-bit bus so you got 8, eight bits here 8 bits here 8 bits going out and it could go to other places where it's just an this is an output here this is an output, this is an output here and it could be going to another place where it's just an input could be going to other places where it is only input and input so we are fine with these two but what happens is the D1 and D2 could have a conflict so when D1 is driving a 0 and D2 drives a 1 we have a problem so to overcome this kind of problems what we introduce is something called uh, so these devices are enabled with uh, say enable 1 here and then this device is enabled with enable 2 so when this enable 1 is high this is driving it and when enable 1 is low you will what you see is you will do a tri state of this bus so uh, this device D1 no longer drives the bus. So now let's look at how a tri-state output buffer or a tri-state gate is con constructed. <coughs> so a tri-state gate is usually symbolically it's uh, represented like this. So you have say a tri-state inverter for example. So you have an input A and an output Y but you have something called high Z enable so we will call this HZ so when HZ is high this output is supposed to be tri-stated so let's see how this is uh, constructed here so we have two P channels in series and we have two N channels in series so these two are N channels and these two are P channels and this is the output this is the output and this is VDD here ground here and what we do is the input A is actually connected here so this is the input A so it, these two MP1 and MN1 act like the inverter P and N devices <laughs> now we have what these two MP2 and MN2 do 
or they cut off the path to towards VDD as well as towards ground when high Z is high. So the way this is implemented is you have HZ coming in as an input and then it's inverted to get HZ bar invert and this HZ connects to this P channel input the HZ bar connects to this N channel input so now what happens is now let's look at the condition when high z is zero so high z bar so we can put this z here so this high z bar is high so mp2 is on and mn2 is on so the path to vdd and ground are on so it acts like a normal inverter depending on the what is at the input a now let's take the condition where high z goes from 0 to 1 high z bar goes from 1 to 0 so high z is high then m and 2 the gate is ground so m and 2 will be off this transistor is off so there is no path to ground and same thing happens here because when the high z goes to VDD MP2 will be off so this MP2 is off and then there is no path to VDD so then what happens is the output irrespective of what is applied at the input A the output will be floating the output is floating so now in this case if you have so this is connected to say a bus for example and this bus is driven by another uh, tri-state inverter it's driving this so but which would have HZ1 it's a different device so and this is input B so now when HZ is low and HZ1 is uh, when HZ is high so this output is tri-stated or floating but HZ1 is low so you will have B bar appear on the bus instead of A bar so this is how a tri-state uh, inverter or tri-state gate works and how the conflict is uh, resolved so that two devices will not drive the same bus at the same time.